grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. This is the greeting that we often hear at the beginning of the Mass. It comes from the greetings that St. Paul often used in his letters. In our second reading, the reading from the first letter to the Corinthians, we hear St. Paul greeting the people there. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace and peace. These two are inseparable, grace and peace. When there is grace, there will be peace. And the opposite is true. When there is no grace, there will be no peace. Of all the people in the history of Christianity, St. Paul is probably the one person who knows this reality the most. We know his background. When he was still Saul, he persecuted Christians. He would go from town to town to look for Christians and persecute them. We know that he was present at the martyrdom of St. Stephen, the first person who died for Christ, the first martyr. Conflict was the theme of his life. It dominated his life. Wherever he went, he always brought conflict to that place. And it was a reflection of an interior conflict that he had within himself. But we also know the story of his spectacular conversion and what happened after that conversion. At his conversion, grace came into his life. And that grace transformed him from being a man who was in conflict and who brought that conflict to others to being a man who was in peace and who brought peace to others. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. That was his greeting. And this transformation from conflict to peace is only possible because grace was given to him. It is said that peace is an irresistible yearning present in the heart of each person. And we yearn for it because it is something that we had but have lost. Something that we lost because of original sin. And what we mean by peace between persons, yes, But primarily, it is an an interior harmony, harmony that is in ourselves. We are at peace when all of our faculties, our senses, our passion, our intellect, our will, are working together in harmony, in unison. When there is no conflict between them, then we are at peace. And it, it is beautiful when we see that. Think about how harmony in music is beautiful. So the same thing when we have harmony in ourselves, we become beautiful. And that's how it was supposed to be when God first created us. A human being that's beautiful because he or she is in harmony with himself or herself. But we lost that harmony when sin entered into our lives. Because of sin, original sin, disorder, and conflict entered into our being, and we lost that peace and that beauty that we had. Our nature is wounded. This is not something that we can fix um, or remedy by ourselves or by force. If we do that, it only makes it worse because we will end up uh, with superficial results that do not last. This wound, this conflict in us, can only be remedied by grace, by God's help. John the Baptist, in the the Gospel reading, said, Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. It's the same thing that the priest said before uh, we receive communion. 
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. John the Baptist, uh, Jesus Christ, is the person who took away our sin. That sin, which is the source of our disorder and conflict. Whenever we receive the sacraments, baptism, Eucharist, confession, marriage, anointing, Jesus Christ comes to us to heal us from our wounds. This is why week after week we come to Mass to receive the Eucharist. It's so that the disorder, the conflict that is in us can be healed. If we are attentive and faithful to the sacraments, like St. Paul, grace will come into our lives. And then slowly, that harmony will be restored in us, and we will have that peace. It is then that we realize how beautiful, how beautiful we really are. And this realization of our beauty is not a source of pride, but instead, a source of humility and thanksgiving to God. Because we know that it is not our image that we are seeing in ourselves, but it is His image, God's image. Grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.